Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Good morning. This is Dr. P. Asha, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai. So, today we are going to discuss about Nicole Lee Nicole line clipping algorithm in uh, computer graphics and multimedia application subject. So, already we have discussed about what is line clipping algorithm. So, in line clipping, there are there are three different types of line clipping algorithm: Cohen Sutherland line clipping algorithm, Lang Barsky line clipping algorithm, and Nicole Lee Nicole line clipping algorithm. So, this Nicole Lee Nicole line clipping algorithm, it depends on interior clipping. In the sense, the portions of line inside the window will be uh, saved, and the portion of the line that is outside the window will be clipped. So, now when you take a particular line, any line will have two endpoints. So, you will have, for example, let me take it to be the starting uh, coordinates be P1 and the ending coordinates be P2. So, you will have any line will have two uh, endpoints, right? So, for any line with endpoints P1 and P2, so for example, I am considering only P1 here. So, let us next find out where P2 will be uh, while working out with the algorithm. So, for a line with endpoints P1 and P2, first of all, we have to determine the position of the particular endpoint P1, okay, for all the possible 9 regions. So, totally in the Cohen Sutherland itself, we are aware that there are 9 regions. So, here uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, totally 9 regions are there. Out of the 9 regions, we are going to consider only 3 regions. So, the first region P1 is inside the window that we are going to take it as case 1 and case 2 is P1 is in the edge region and case 3 is P1 is in the corner region. For example, I cannot always uh, assure that uh, always P1 will be in these positions only. It may be in any other place right it may be over here or here or anywhere it can be so if at all if you have p1 at any other uh, regions other than these three considered regions we are going to apply symmetry transformation and we are going to uh, switch the p1 to only these three particular regions which we are bothered about so in symmetric transformation you know we have got a reflection and rotation using the those transformations you can switch the point p1 to any of these three locations for example, if it is over here, you can either make a rotation or you can make a reflection and you can bring it to the point over here or you can make it over here or in that particular region. So, only three regions we are bothered about. Now, for example, when we take the case 1, so we have the point P1 in the inside the window. Okay, that is the case one. So, when you take that, the first initial step is that we have to set up all the regions. So, now uh, P1 is inside the window region. So, now what I do is that I do take a half infinite line. I draw a half infinite line from the point P1 uh, such that it crosses all the four corners. Okay. So, the first one is that I have the point P1, I am drawing a half infinite line such that it crosses all the corners. So, the first one is that it crosses this corner and the second one this corner and the third one is that particular corner and the fourth one is from the point P1 to this corner. So, as a result of having all these half infinite lines, now I will have four separate regions being set up. So, this one is your left of your window and this one is your top of your window. Means, like if I take this to be HL1 and this to be your HL2, the space between your HL1 and HL2 will be your top boundary and the space between these two will be your right boundary. This is to the right of your window and this is this place is to the bottom of your window and now after setting up all the four regions now totally four regions you have got left top right and bottom as a result of setting up now you now the next thing is that you will have to find where p2 is being present for example if p2 is present inside in the left boundary for example say so p1 and you have a line over here and here p2 is present in that case what we have to do is that we have to find the intersection point at this particular place where it crosses your left boundary okay so this is case one and the next one is case two so in case two is it is to the left 
left hand side okay it is to the edge region p1 is in the edge region so now uh, the initial step after having the point p1 now we are supposed to draw the half infinite line so when i draw half infinite line from the point p1 such that it is crossing all the corners of your window so the first one will be like this the second hl2 will be like this then the third hl3 half infinite line 3 and the fourth one so you just see all the hl will be crossing all the corner points of your window boundary okay so after drawing all the half infinite lines now we have got we have to find out what are the regions present now you have got so the space between your hl1 and hl2 for example let me assume this to be hl1 and half infinite line 2 so the space between this one will be two portions are there so this portion will be your left hand side this is your initially the space covers your left hand side of your boundary so i have marked it as l and after that when it continues when it proceeds further you have got a space coverage over here so this one will be your top boundary so it is covering which one left hand side as well as the top boundary hence i have written this to be lt left and after that, when I consider this to be HL2 and HL3, half infinite line 2 and 3, so the space between this, it initially covers your left boundary and after that it covers your right boundary. So therefore, I have written it as LR, left and then your right. When I consider this HL3 and HL4, again it covers two region, two portions. The first one is the left hand side and at the bottom boundary also it covers. So therefore, I have written this to be LB, left bottom. For example, if P2 is present in any of the places, whether it may be LT or it is LR or LB, whatever it is, you have to now find out the intersection point and you have to save the portion of the line that is inside the window. Now let us start with case 3. Now P1 is in the corner region. The third one is P1 is in the corner region. The first one was inside the window. The second one was to the edge region and the third one is the corner region. So again my objective will be to first draw the half infinite line starting from this point P1 and, it and such that it covers all the corners of the window. So the first one. This is the first HL1. And the next one, it crosses this particular corner and the third one, it crosses this corner and the fourth one, it crosses this corner. So I have HL1, this to be HL1, this is HL2, HL3 and then the HL4. Okay. So now again, now the space between the first, when I take HL1 and HL2, the space between these two, it covers top and then your right. So it is top, right. And the second one, it covers your top and then your bottom portion. So it is top and the bottom. And the next space, it covers your left hand side as well as your bottom. So this one will be your left bottom. Okay. So in a next, if P2 is present in any of the regions, again we have to find the intersection point and then we will have to save the portion of the uh, line that is inside the boundary. Now let us consider an example. So given uh, the window coordinates called 10, 10 to 100, 100. Use Nicole Lee Nicole line clipping algorithm to clip the line 7, 40 and 50, 115. So the line coordinates are given. You are supposed to clip this particular line, and the window coordinates are given 10, 10 and 100, 100. So initially, when I mark the 10, 10, for example, assume this this is your 10, 10. So the first one will be I'm just plotting the window so this point is your 10 comma 10 and the second one i'm just plotting the next one 100 comma 100 so when you plot it like this you get a structure like this so using these two corner points now i can construct this particular window so once when the window is being constructed obviously i can find out the remaining two coordinate values so this one will be 10 comma 100 and this one would be 100 comma 10 so given these two corner points, I will be able to make a window and uh, probably I can write the remaining coordinates. Okay. So once the window is done, so you have constructed the window. Next is that we have to draw the line segment. So the line segment starts from what? 7, 41 and point P1 and P2 you have got. P1 is 7, 40 and P2 is 50, 115. So this is the first point and this is the second point. Now I am constructing a line. So the coordinate is 7, 40. And the coordinate is uh, 50, 115. 
So after construction, now once when you now you are supposed to consider only P one, and you are supposed to draw the half infinite line such that it pro it crosses all the corners of the window. So now I am drawing the first half infinite line such that it crosses this corner, and the second one it crosses this one, next this one, and fourth this corner. So now I have completed my half infinite line. So I am giving a name to all the half infinite line 1, 2, 3 and 4, the next one. So now let us uh, start solving the problem. So the slope, so everyone knows that the slope will be given by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus y, x, x2 minus x1. So the formula is like uh, the difference between your y values divided by the difference between your x values. So now first we are supposed to find the slope of HL1. So this is your HL1. So what are the coordinates of HL1 is that it starts from which one 7 comma 40 and it goes to 10 comma 100. So it crosses these two points. So I am considering 7 comma 40 and 10 comma 100. Now I am supposed to find the HL1 slope of HL1. So slope you know the formula it is difference between your y values divided by your difference between your x values. So it is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let me call this to be x1, y1 and x2 and y2. So now when you are calculating you get an answer of 20 for this s1. So let me name this slope to be s1. Next slope of HL2. So your HL2 it starts from 7 comma 40 and the end uh, the, the next uh, crossing coordinate is 100 comma 100. So it is 7 comma 40 to 100 comma 100. So let me call this slope to be S2. So again I am finding the difference between your y divided by difference between your x values. So you get a value of 0 0.645. The next one slope of HL3. So it starts from 7 comma 40 to 100 comma 10. So again I am taking the slope to be S3 so I am getting a value of minus 0 0.322. The next one I am trying to find the slope of HL4. So the starting point is 7 comma 40 and the ending point is 10 comma 10. So let me name this to be slope S4 which is equal to minus 10. Okay, so once we are done with all the HLs, okay, so we have got the four HL points, HL half infinite lines, we are done with all the slopes of all the four. Next, we have to find the slope of the original line segment 2. So the line segment is 7, 40 to 50, 115. Let me name that particular slope to be capital S. So as I have given different values S1, S2, S3 and S4, let me name this to be capital S. So the slope of the entire line segment or the original line segment is equal to 1.744. Okay, so the next one, so uh, please note down all the values of S1, S2, S3 and S4 and the next one you are going to compare all the slope values with your capital S means slope of all the HLs with the slope of the line segment. Once after completion with checking of uh, the slope of the line segment with S1 and S2, the next one is that we check the slope of the line with the slope of the HL2 and HL3, so which is nothing but S2 and S3. So when you uh, compare it, the answer is false. So the next one, the same way, again the next thing is that you are going to uh, check the slope of the line segment with the slope S3 and S4. So once when you compare and when you check it out, again the answer is false. So out of all the three cases now, we have to we are trying to find which one is true. So that one will be chosen. So the slope that lies between S1 and S2 is found to be true. And so therefore, now you are going to conclude that the line lies between HL1 and HL2. So uh, what are we doing is that we are going to check the slope of the line segment with the, all the other slopes which we have found out and thereby you conclude that where the P2 point lies, whether it is between HL1 and HL2. So the previous case you found, the first case was true. It was uh, between your S1 and S2. So therefore, I conclude that your uh, the P2, okay, the point P2 lies between your HL1 and HL2 because for only for that case we have an answer of true. So now uh, we have found out that one. So now we have found out that the point P2 lies between your HL1 and this is your HL2 between these two places. Okay, fine. After finding out that, now the next thing is that I have to find the intersection point. Okay, so now while finding the intersection point, 
So, when you take this one, the first intersection point will be over here and the next intersection point will be over there. So, whenever you have with respect to this particular uh, boundary, this is your vertical boundary, vertical boundary and over this side, obviously your x value will be x window minimum. Suppose if it is towards this side, obviously your x will be equal to x window max. And uh, if, you are, uh, if you are crossing over here, obviously then your y value will be y window minimum and if you are crossing over here obviously the y will be your y window maximum. So, now I am calculating this these two intersection points. So, with respect to your vertical boundary and then the your horizontal boundary. So, whenever you have your vertical boundary your, uh, your y value you will know and your x value will be your x window minimum. So, x is equal to x window minimum, I am just taking that particular value, so which is already given in the problem. Then y alone I am just taking, I am using the formula to calculate the intersection point. Then I am getting the answer of y is equal to 45. Therefore, this particular coordinate, okay, this particular coordinate will be which one? 10 comma 45. And similarly, with respect to this particular horizontal boundary, means this particular intersection point, how should I calculate? So, obviously, you know that your y will be equal to y window maximum. So, y is equal to y max. So, I am just copying down the value. The next I am calculating uh, using the formula and I am getting the answer to be 41.4. So, I am just approximating and I am getting the answer to be equal to 41, 100. So, this is the intersection point. So, now we are done with the intersection calculation. After that, so once we got the intersection point, the portion of the line that is inside this particular window will be saved and the portion of the line that is outside the window will be clipped. So, this is how the Nicole Lee Nicole line clipping algorithm works. So, thank you.